Hello. Uh, so it's rather excitingly, this is my first video done at landscape orientation rather than portrait. Uh, and it's about threes. Um, I've done a film already about the Oedipus complex, which is also really about threes. This is threes, the idea of threes taken from another perspective. So if one of the hallmarks of being um, a living, breathing human subject is the need to keep one's desire alive, how does one go about doing that? Um, usually one finds another, a, another person around whom we can circle our desire. And then having found that other, we then try and work out what does he or she want. And it's completely impossible to do that. But since not knowing what the other wants is unbearable, um, one projects a set of desires onto the other and one kids oneself that, that those projected desires are really coming from the other person himself or herself. But then having created this set of things that the other wants from you, the worst thing of course you could possibly do is to fulfill the other's desire because that would, that would kill desire, it would close it off by satisfying it, it, it nullifies it. So with the ideal in mind, we deliberately, if unconsciously, fail to live up to what the other wants. We discover that we're too boring, we're not interesting enough, or beautiful enough, or manly enough, we're not able to satisfy the other, we're too old, we're too young, we're too something, too something, not enough of something, not enough of something. And we really believe that these are objective measures. We think she wants X. I can give her Y, which is not as good as X, but hopefully it will do. But maybe it won't. And because projection is so effective at convincing us that we don't really have much agency, we don't realise that it's us who's using this failure as a kind of strategy. Um, and, and we really believe that we're not good enough. In an objective way, we believe that. We don't see that not being good enough is necessary in order to keep that neurotic hamster wheel of self-improvement and self-betterment going. This is a strategy. Um, I think kind of what I'm saying here is that all, almost all human relationships involve a threesome. There's me, there's you, and there's the other. The other doesn't necessarily mean a, another person. But there's something else. And that other, it kind of seems like the gooseberry the thing that's getting in the way, the elephant in the room, the thing that stops me from getting as close to you as I would really like to be. Um, and I think what that other is, it's a version of perfection that I aspire to be and that I fantasize is the thing that you really want. But that other, I think it's also, it's psychically necessary. Um, it's a kind of buffer, it acts as a buffer. It protects us from the starkness, from the immediateness, and the kind of too muchness of the two-person relationship. Um, it, and in, in, in providing that buffer, it frustrates us, it shames us, it excites us, it keeps us going. Um, and it also partly, although only partly, explains the deep fashion, fascination we have with threesomes, and also the fact that most of the time most of us choose not really to have them.